Hello everyone, welcome to Dentamedia YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about Cementon. Let's get started. Cementum is a hard layer of calcified mesenchymal tissues which forms the outer covering of the anatomical root. It is also called as substantia ossea. Cementum extends from the cementoenamel junction to the apex of tooth. It forms a covering on root surface, which seals the open dentinal tubules of root dentin and provides an attachment for periodontal ligament that holds the tooth in its socket. It was first microscopically demonstrated by two pupils of Pourquenier in 1835. Physical properties of cementum, color yellowish in color and lighter when compared with dentin. It lacks a shiny surface, by which it can be distinguished from enamel, hardness the hardness is less than that of enamel, dentin, and bone. Permeability cementum is permeable to water and inorganic ions in normal conditions. The permeability decreases with age. Thickness cementum varies in thickness. It is thinnest near the cervical region, 20, 50 mm, and gradually becomes thicker towards the apex, where it measures about 150, 200 mm. Chemical properties of cementum. Cementum consists of around 45, 50% inorganic components and 50, 55% organic components and water. It consists of calcium and phosphate in the form of hydroxyapatite crystals. Fluoride ions are present in higher concentrations in cementum than in any other hard tissue of the body. The organic portion of cementum mainly consists of type 1 collagen. Collagen types 3, 5, 6, 12, and 14 are also seen in cementum. Classification of cementum, based on cellularity, acellular cementum. Cementum without cells, cellular cementum, cementum with cells, based on the time of origin, primary cementum, it is the first form cementum and is acellular. It develops slowly as the tooth erupts, extending from the cervical portion to the coronal two-third of the root. It consists of intrinsic and extrinsic fibers, secondary cementum, it forms after the tooth reaches the occlusal plane. It consists of extrinsic and intrinsic fibers and is present in the apical third and the interradicular portions of the teeth. Based on the presence of collagen fibrils, a fibrillar cementum, cementum without collagen fibrils, fibrillar cementum, cementum with collagen fibrils, based on the origin of the matrix fibers, extrinsic cementum, cementum with matrix fibers derived from the periodontal ligament, intrinsic cementum. Cementum with matrix fibers derived from cementoblasts, mixed fiber cementum, cementum containing both extrinsic and intrinsic matrix fibers. Acellular cementum is the first to be formed and covers approximately the cervical third to half of the root. It does not contain cells. This cementum is formed before the tooth reaches a clusal plane. Thickness 2050 mm. Sharpie's fibers make up most of the structure. Their function is anchorage. Cellular cementum, apical third of the root. Less calcified than acellular cementum. Is more irregular and contains cells, cementocytes. Formed after the tooth reaches the occlusal plane thickness 150200 mm adaptive role in response to tooth wear and movement and is associated with repair of periodontal tissues, acellular afibrillar cementum, contains neither cells nor fibers, present at coronal cementum spurs extending from the cementum or isolated patches on the enamel surface close to the sedge. Acellular extrinsic fiber cementum, Densely packed bundles of Sharpie's fiber and lax cells, it is found in the cervical and middle third of roots but sometimes it may extend further apically, function is anchorage, cellular mixed stratified, has cells extrinsic fibers and intrinsic fibers, it is situated in apical portion, its function is adaptation, cellular intrinsic fiber, contains cells and intrinsic fibers, it is situated at middle to apical third and forcations, its Function is adaptation, 
cemento enamel junction junction between the cementum and the enamel at the cervical portion of the teeth. Three types of junctions exist, sharp junction, but joint the cementum meets the enamel in a sharp line. This type is seen in 30% of teeth. Gap junction, the cementum does not meet the enamel in the cervical region, and there is no CEJ. A portion of the root in the cervical region will be devoid of cementum. Overlap junction, the cementum overlaps the enamel, cementodentinal junction, cementodentinal junction, CDJ, between cementum and dentin is usually smooth but can be scalloped in deciduous teeth. Functions of cementum, anchorage, attachment cementum provides a medium for the attachment of periodontal ligament fibers, thereby helping in binding of tooth with alveolar bone. A cellular cementum is mainly involved in the attachment process. Adaptation, masticatory forces cause occlusal wearing, thereby reducing the tooth length. By the continuous deposition of cellular cementum at the apical region of root, the decrease in tooth length is compensated and an occlusal relationship is maintained. Repair, fracture or resorption occurring in the roots is repaired by the deposition of cellular cementum, because it forms at a faster rate, incremental lines of salter, the rhythmic deposition of cementum is represented by incremental lines of salter. They do not have a regular rhythmic distribution as seen in other mineralized tissues of tooth structure. So in this video we have covered CEMENTUM, now you can read this topic in detail on our website, link given in description. Please subscribe, like and comment so we get motivation to make such videos for you, thank you for watching.